What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and I'm here in Eagle Rock, one of my favorite communities in LA. It's dynamic, it's complex, it's got some great history. But I also want to know, is it really named after this rock that looks like an eagle? Let's get into it. So let's address this first. The town is indeed named after a rocky outcropping on the Santa Monica Mountains that does indeed look like an eagle. Though the city wasn't incorporated until 1911, it was referred to as Eagle Rock at least as early as the 1890s. And prior to that, Ludwig Salvatore, the Archduke of Austria, was traveling in the area and he drew one of the earliest known depictions of this geological wonder, which was then known as Piedra Gorda. But make no mistake about it, the indigenous people were there first and they enjoyed the land and they used the rock for ceremonies and they found acorns and oak trees that they used for food all around the area. After European conquistadors arrived, it became part of the Rancho San Rafael and was under both Mexican and Spanish rule. By the 1870s, it was subdivided into 31 parcels, and the parcel owned by Benjamin Dreyfus is the one that became Eagle Rock, but not before it was the Gates Strawberry Ranch, a huge strawberry field that was manned mostly by Chinese laborers. By 1906, the Los Angeles Railway streetcar system arrived, and Eagle Rock began to grow. This streetcar was rather perilous, and it was referred to as the Dinky, the Tunerville Trolley, and the Galloping Goose, as it would often shake and actually butt riders off of the train at certain points. Wow. After Eagle Rock was incorporated, the gentle slopes lended themselves to beautiful architecture, including many Victorian homes, which are still around today. Also, Occidental College moved from Boyle Heights and was designed by Myron Hunt from 1911 to 1913 and opened in 1914. About a decade later in the 1920s, Sparklets actually got its start there. Burton Arn Sr. did not like the taste of the municipal water, and he found a well on York and Avenue 48 and began bottling water called Sparklets. Throughout the next couple decades, Eagle Rock developed as a quiet, charming, academic, and upper middle class community, but there were racial covenants that ensured only whites and Caucasians could live there. Hmm. 1977, Eagle Rock made headlines for the wrong reasons as the Hillside Strangler or Stranglers abducted a victim at the Eagle Rock Plaza. Seven years later, the Night Stalker, Richard Ramirez, abducted a victim from Eagle Rock as well. In February of 1981, a young Occidental student named Barack Obama gave what was believed to be his first public speech on civil matters at Occidental with the Eagle Rock in the background. In 1996, a developer wanted to build an apartment complex at the foot of the Eagle Rock, but the city of Los Angeles stepped in and bought it for $700,000, and no developments were made preserving the rock. Over the last few decades, Eagle Rock has diversified immensely, including now when it has the largest population of Filipino Americans in all of L.A. Today, Eagle Rock is a little bit less quiet, but it's just as charming, and it's actually diversified quite a bit. In addition to Filipinos, 27% of the residents were born in Mexico, and has one of the largest percentages, about 38% of foreign-born residents of any neighborhood in Los Angeles. So now you know the story of Eagle Rock, and this rock that looks like an eagle. And Eagle Rock is one heck of a community, one of my favorite in Los Angeles. All right, LA, it's been a minute.